Component Studio 2 lets you import data directly from Google Sheets to build your data sets. Let's look at how. We'll begin by looking at our spreadsheet in Google Sheets. We'll be building monster cards for our game. There are a couple things we need to do to our spreadsheet before we can import it. First of all, make sure the first row is all the column headers that you want. In addition, there must be one column specifically titled quantity all lowercase, and another column specifically titled name, all lowercase. Go ahead and build out the rest of the spreadsheet. Now you must mark the top row with all the column titles as a header row. To do that, look at this large dark gray line at the top of all your rows. Grab that and slide that down just underneath the first row. Now that top row is marked as a header row. Next, we need to set columns to be plain text. Any column that is not exclusively numbers needs to be set as plain text. Hold Control and select each column that is not exclusively numbers. With these all selected, go up to Format, and under Number, select Plain Text. Now we need to make the dataset public. Go ahead and click the share icon, and down by where it says Get Link, select Change to Anyone with the link. This will make this spreadsheet accessible to anybody, or in our case, any program that has this link. This lets Component Studio 2 read the data in this spreadsheet. Now select Copy Link. With the link on our clipboard, we can return to Component Studio and create the data set that's going to hold these values. Select Create Dataset, name it, and Create Dataset. Open it, and now under CSV, select Import Google Sheet. When you paste the link, you'll see a new button appear for Pull Fresh Data. This is going to rewrite all data in this dataset with the data from the spreadsheet. Confirm that you want to rewrite the entire spreadsheet. Make sure you have all your settings and styles in place, for example if you're using enumeration. Once everything's in place on the imported dataset, let's go to the design and attach this dataset to it. Select Design Properties, and choose the new dataset. And if we did everything correctly, our design will load. And everything's looking as it should be. Now, let's say we want to make a change. For example, this toad should really have one attack that's a type of acid. To make that change, you're going to go back to your Google Sheets, make the change in your spreadsheet, so we're adding to the toad an attack of one that's acid. Now, return to your data set, and you're going to have to pull the data. That means it's going to erase everything in the data set and pull all the information from our Google Sheet. Notice that Component Studio 2 remembers the URL you used last time. If that's still correct, just press Pull Fresh Data and confirm that you want to rewrite the data set. Confirm that your changes were imported correctly. Now you can reload your design. Going back to the toad, we see that his attack of one acid now appears on the card. Thank you for following along on this Component Studio tutorial. If you have questions or comments, please leave them below here on YouTube, join us on the Component Studio Facebook group, or find the Game Crafter Discord and join our community there. Until next time, I'm Andrew Voigt, helping you make the best games you can.